The evolution of art begins with the awareness of the viewer. Since humankind first scrawled images on cave walls, art has always been created to transport and enlighten. As artists became aware of the power of viewpoint, advances in art have been tied to the viewer's relationship to works of art in visual and later in cerebral frames of reference. As art advanced, new ways of consulting the viewpoint of the viewer and consulting the viewer's perception of reality have evolved. For fall 2013, Team Salamander has prepared 10 works of art to be viewed at the Art History 3 Museum that address the concept of viewpoint and ask the question, what is the significance of viewpoint? In 1863, Edward Manet challenged the privileged viewer of the period and exposed the world many thought hidden and beyond compromise. This painting raised issues of women's position and place in society, prostitution, and how the rich used those considered common. This image resulted in a power exchange. The power exchange was that by being a favored courtesan, the subject of Olympia has transformed the power of the privileged viewpoint of the wealthy art owner buyer. This painting shows viewpoint in conflict being managed by the painter. In 1897, John Singer Sargent painted a portrait of Mr. and Mrs. Ian Phelps Stokes. Here again, we have an opportunity to see the shift of viewpoint that challenges conventions and places the power of privileged viewing in the painting itself. Thus, the viewer is challenged to accept or reject the view of a clear role reversal. Mrs. Phelps Stokes is free to step forward in the painting with a new freedom that suggests the peace and security of the period. In 1885, while in Noonan, Netherlands, Vincent van Gogh painted The Potato Eaters. This image shows us a view of people who live under conditions that might raise issues about class structure. In 1893, Edvard Munch's The Scream confronts the viewer with someone expressing emotions that may be considered unpleasant. A person in conflict whose body distorts with the perceived distortions of the emotions expressed in the piece. Viewpoint, conflict, and security are addressed here. In 1915, Kazimir Malevich created suprematist composition, Airplane Flying. Here the viewer is raised to consultant in viewpoint hierarchy. The viewer is asked to reach deeper for meaning, invoking the possibility of the viewer projecting viewpoint rather than perceiving. Viewpoint, along with a new suprematist form of conceptual understanding, becomes perception of reality versus theoretical postulates about the nature of feeling in relationship to expression. In 1911, Mark Chagall painted Eye in the Village. Here the viewer is being asked to view a hierarchy that places an animal above a human being. Color is explored in challenging ways, and the viewpoint of an animal is consulted. This gives us another form of advancement and a different way to consult the viewer. In 1983, Elizabeth Murray expands our view with a piece called More Than You Know, a large-scale painting that draws freely from Dada and Cubism. Murray delights the eye with playful use of space while boldly using form and scale to invite the viewer to consider their own relationship to space, form, and scale. In 1976, Christo and Jean Claude created Running Fence, which was an installation installed in Sonoma and Marin Counties, California. Running Fence was 18 feet high and 24.5 miles long. This immense art installation created relationships to time, scale, and distance. The relationship of size and free-flowing fabric allowed the viewer to contemplate their relationship to the object, to the surrounding landscape, and to the ocean. On 2 November 1965, Joseph Bayes created a performance art installation called How to Explain Pictures to a Dead Hair. In this piece, the viewer encounters a live person in motion who has painted himself and arranged the setting with metal and felt tied to either foot, and is mouthing inaudible words to a dead animal. The title of this piece asks the viewer to consider just what Joseph Bay's explanation of art might be. Such a question is asked by the piece itself. Thus, the viewer is thrust into a reversal and must switch roles with the artist. In 1928, Rene Magritte created The False Mirror. This painting at once creates an advancement in viewpoint by allowing the viewer to view, be viewed, and to encounter a simultaneity of perception. The viewer here may consider the possibility that the artist is considering a blue sky or that the viewer may transpose the view and place themselves inside the image. Thus, McGreed has created an image that must be considered to have simultaneous points of view. 
but in a way that allows for the simultaneous awareness of the internal thoughts of both the viewer and the artist. <laughs>